Our webinar today is entitled SAP PLM Demos PL PPM Overview. And this is for project and portfolio management. And is sponsored jointly with SAP. This webinar will provide an introduction to the value SAP project and portfolio management provides for managing the full project life cycle from concept to closure. It will include an overview presentation of the main features of SAP PPM, followed by a high-level product de demonstration. My name is Alan Mendel, Vice President at LeverX, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar. Before we begin our topic for today's webinar, let me briefly introduce you to LeverX. LeverX assists companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. LeverX is an SAP services partner and associate member of the PLM Alliance. LeverX delivers strategic, functional, and technical services in the areas of SAP product lifecycle management, portfolio, and project management, and related solutions. LeverX offers services for business process and strategic consulting, solution architecture development, implementation planning and execution, application management support, on-site and remote delivery models. In addition, LeverX provides services for SAP mobile application strategy development and implementation, as well as a broad set of SAP technologies, including SAP NetWeaver, Workflow, Business Warehouse, and Business Objects. We are pleased to introduce our presenters for today's webinar. I will provide a quick overview of the today's topic. And our special guest from SAP is Matt Emmert, Executive Solution Engineer, who will review the PPM capabilities and provide a demonstration. Our agenda will proceed as outlined. We'll first have a brief overview and then a demonstration. All right. So let's talk about introducing new ideas. And here we're starting out at the portfolio level, um, really the, 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 initial, the initial idea introduction planning step. So many ways you can get new ideas into the portfolio. Um, one example is you could use an Adobe Interactive Form. Um, this could be a form that sits out, um, can be downloaded from a web page, or can even sit on users' desktops, and just allow them a very, very simple UI to introduce new ideas. That could be, um, you know, what's the name of this idea and what's, what are the objectives, as well as any level of, of additional kind of classification detail you might want to include. So that's one way to do it. You could create uh, you know, a website with forms to get that new idea in. So there's ways to create a very lightweight user interface to allow any users or, uh, or even external parties to get new ideas into the portfolio. What I'd like to do, I'd like to go directly into the application and just start there and show you how we might, we might introduce a new idea um, into the portfolio using the PPM tool itself. Um, this user interface, just for a quick orientation, what I'm, I'm showing you this in the NetWeaver business client. Um, you can also use a uh, web browser to access the application and, via the SAP portal and very similar, um, uh, very similar use, use models in both cases. What I have here for my particular role that I've logged in as, I have access to a set of tabs that are really around portfolio management, project management, and resource management. So these tabs really guide the user very directly to the areas of SAP that he needs to access um, uh, to do his job. So um, what I'm, I'm starting at the portfolio management view. Um, here you can see a dashboard across the different projects in my portfolio. A little bit more on this later. I'll come back to this in step two. What I'd like to do is just go in here directly and to create a new item into the portfolio. So this will be a brand new idea that's coming into the front end of the funnel. Um, I'm going to decide to give it a home. And here I'd also like to introduce the uh, portfolio hierarchy. Um, this hierarchy can be flexibly defined directly in the application. It doesn't even have to be configured in, 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 um, in SAP. It can be defined in the application and defines how I want to structure my portfolio. Um, and this can be really any, any structure you want to define. In this case, I happen to have one that's, that's generally oriented by product lines as well as by what kind of product it is. So in this case, you know, I've got product line one underneath it. You know, I've got you know, what are my enhancements, what are the game changers, what are the new, market, new to market ideas. I've got some other categories in here. Since this one hasn't really been classified yet, I also have a bucket for just fresh 
product ideas. As you may notice, this, today's demonstration is going, to, is going to follow a new product development process, but I can use the same tool to manage IT projects. So um, I could either set up a, a totally different portfolio, or within this portfolio, I may want to manage my IT project um, uh, ideation process as well. All right, so let's go ahead and introduce this idea. So we'll say this is a fresh product idea. Um, I'm also going to give this an item type. So an item type is going to define for me uh, what the stage gates are and what kind of projects I can link to. Um, in this case, I, I'm in a demo system, so there's a whole bunch of different ones, but I've set up a couple here. Uh, one is I have a full uh, new product introduction process, and then I also have a fast track process. These would define different di different stage gate requirements. Let's go ahead and select a full MPI process and hit create. Um, and this is going to give me really the shell that I'm going to use to start defining my ideas. 